We're Eamon and Beck, van lifers turned amateur renovators. This is our cabin that we've spent the last six months fixing up. And this is the gorgeous lake we have access to. But to get there, we've currently got to battle this steep hill and dangerous terrain. So it's time to fix that. We are all absolutely exhausted. Woo! Oh my God, Beck's gonna be so pissed. No. Yeah. The current walk down to this spot is a little treacherous. A little treacherous. Um, that's what we're working on today. So, wish us luck. Mm. This is gonna be a nice spot. This is gonna watch. be a really nice spot. Wanna build a platform? As we continue our way down to the water, the plan here is to build a small platform which connects via stairs to the small platform up there. And of course, we wouldn't be doing any of this without the mighty, mighty fine help of Tim. Good morning. <laughs> Where are the oh, yoga pants? Look, look, look. <laughs> See you Sunday. Yeah, the merch. <laughs> and just so you can understand what I mean, that's the small platform stairs. And then this will be a bit of a longer, thin platform. So you can sit out here, have your morning coffee, read a book. And building is already physical enough work, but building down a cliff, well, that should be interesting. <laughs> we gotta get the materials down. And for today's project, we've also recruited Adam. But he's pretending he has to work so he doesn't have to do the heavy lifting, I think. Get it in. 60. Sorry, I don't have my yoga pants on today. Wow. Actually, I've got them in the car. <laughs> oh, that's oh, tight. Wow. I really need a chin up bar so I can, I can hang. Because it's, you need, to, you need to stretch the back out, right? Yeah, where's the chin up bar? You can slap one on there okay. real quick. Got a, got a chair we can, you got a bar? We can just put a piece of wood around put here. Put a piece of wood, yeah. Two, yeah, two. Got any two by fours? Probably not. <laughs> don't get distracted yeah. from the job, but yeah. <laughs> Is that a chin up bar? Maybe. <laughs> want, you want that at, uh, at a height that only you can reach it. Wait. <laughs> you want a little lower, Timmy? <laughs> well, you, want to, you can break, jump up, no? Bring it down. This, right here. Right here. You can, you can pick your legs up a little bit. What? <laughs> My house. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're asking your legs, yeah. Bro, welcome to the job site. We're now building a chin up bar. <laughs> Oh, this is this is something I could get behind. Yeah. <laughs>
optimistic plan these guys have for today. <laughs> this great big giant platform with stairs and platform going to it. Most people would take two to three days to, to do this. What we're thinking. Well, you just said three to four days. Today. Don't dumb it down. Three to four days, yeah. Well, we don't have to do the stairs today, yeah. but platform. No, Eamon said he wants it done. He wants, the, he wants it done, the stairs and everything right to it. If anyone can do yeah. it, it's us, it's right? It's us, yeah, you betcha, baby. Yeah. Let's do it. Better yeah. patter. Better patter, get carrying. <laughs> Careful, Tim. Yeah. Are you okay, Tim? <laughs> okay, so to start, we're doing a 12 by 16, and then we might add an extra eight feet on depending on where the space is. So basically, building a little frame, then we'll get the supports in. Just a little box. First rock removal of the day. <laughs> yep. Many more to come. I know. Feeling grateful for all the extra hands today. We're gonna myth, myth, lift this platform and move it a couple feet. See how it feels over there. We are happy with the new location, but the new location is tricky because there's a big ass stump. Okay, now the fun part is we gotta actually mount the Let's platform. The platform a bit. So, let's dig some holes. Go ahead, Tim. Comfortable. What are smalls? Oh, show Adam your smalls. He didn't see him. He, he asked me what I, what I wear under my yoga pants. I said I wear smalls probably with like what, what Beck wears. You gotta have that. These, these are these are from Parksworth Warehouse. Oh. Yeah. Invisibles are called. Don't you find it rides up in the crotch though? No, no, That's they're, what off, I they're find. awesome. Or up yep. the butthole? No, no. The, these these things just just sit. They're they're perfect fit. Yeah, oh. they, they, they aren't a thong. They're not a thong. They're, 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 uh, Have you tried on a thong? No, not in a lot of years. <laughs> I used to wear a thong to the to, to the gym under my uh, my tights I, I, until I saw a couple of other guys in tights. That I'm like, I think he's wearing a thong, and that's what my butt looks like. I'm going to stop wearing a thong. And Wait, but why? Life. Just to make your butt look better? So you, well, well, you it, just it, see the it, line? It goes up your crack, right? So, oh. but why were you wearing a thong? Because uh, it was the in, in thing to do with the with the tights in the gym. Yeah, we're, I'm sure he'll bring a pair for you tomorrow. You try out. Yeah, I can bring some extras. <laughs> yeah, some new tech on the job site today. I've been doing a lot of research on, you know, how to build steps and deck and uneven ground. So you can get these saddles, and you can get a hammer drill. And if you get a good rock, you can drill into the rock and then put the saddle in there with a little bit of epoxy concrete. Ooh. It's gonna save you time. It's gonna look great. It's gonna be solid as anything. It was that looks pretty like good, babe. Rock on rock. And oh, just yeah. to get it out, it was like. Hey, yeah. if, if, if the rock didn't split, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Truth be told, it's always a scary day when Eamon goes to the hardware store because I know he's going to spend money on something that I don't think we need. And then I'm on the job site with him and I'm like, wow, we really needed that tool. Yeah. Good purchase. <laughs> good purchase. Everything I try to do really is filled. Oh, see ya. I get some water for the concrete. As you can see, it's a rather treacherous walk. You gotta come up. I have a perfectionist problem. Hi, my name's Beck, and I have a perfectionist problem. Why well, I screwed it up? We're at about a 16. Is that okay? <laughs> 
Are we good? <laughs> We're good. Uh, hey, Beck, I think it might be lunchtime if you want to <laughs> make your way to the kitchen. Even I know that's bad. That's yeah. dicey. What's that? Let's see if this works. Don't break it. Get another gun? This gun is giving us problems here. Maybe there's a piece of plastic or something stuck in there, huh? I think it just hardened. No. Should I try a different gun? Like, I don't know. Brutal, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try another gun. There you go. Well, a little bit better. I don't know, man. That stuff's hard, I think. Yeah. Wow, like it only gave you that one. Look, it's, I think it's supposed to emit white and gray. Yeah. And we just got gray in there. This is insane. Yeah. Ah! All right, here's uh, half of day one progress. <laughs> Still kind of looks like this morning. I'm not gonna lie, I had to turn off the camera when we were dealing with that epoxy. That was extremely frustrating. Those tubes were $20 each, and I think I might have screwed up opening it. We ended up getting a bit of juice in each hole, and two of the posts are solid, but we're gonna take a lunch break. That was perfect timing. Oh, yes. Lunch. Looks awesome. Whew. Coach has got me on these pre-workout <laughs> bangers. They're like so sweet, so I'm getting, I'm building up a bit of a sugar addiction. <laughs> and now anytime I get tired, I just bang one of these out. It's, it's definitely not healthy. I was gonna say that sounds just not healthy. <laughs> That's three bags of concrete. If I were to do it again, I would not recommend mixing three at once. <laughs> well, you weren't supposed to. <laughs> okay, Adam, you've got the supervisor uh, yeah. roll on lock. Seven out of 10 so far. <laughs> Post lunch, we've come out here and added extra beams and support throughout the entire platform. Feel like we're almost there. Time to get the deck boards the going. The hard work's done. Now we just need to get laid. <laughs> Tim encouraging Eamon with the, that laughter. Get laying. <laughs> Lay <in. laughs> Number one going in. Okay, great. Chairs can be dropped off in 45 minutes. Oh, sweet. So 45 minutes till the furniture arrives, which means we have 45 minutes to can lay these on? deck boards. Uh -huh. Can we do it? Let's get it laid. There is no bed today. It's time to get away. I wanna see it all. By the way, I don't know if anyone's picked up on this, but Tim is now fully decked out in Milwaukee. <laughs> so he's brand loyal, and we're gonna test the uh, 12 amp hour battery versus the standard five. One, two, three, go. Oh, no! Uh, I got excited. Sometimes it's not about the tools, it's about the tools, man. You know what, the weight on this too is so Oh, exciting. sure, 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 yeah. sure. Oh, One, two, three, go. <laughs> Choices. Okay, yeah, well, you just yeah. made a fool of yourself yeah. the first time. <laughs> yeah. This is the good life. So the deck is about 60, maybe 70% of the way there, and the chairs have arrived. So it definitely helped us push through to think about having a drink on the new chair on our new deck. Okay, I know it's not quite done yet, but how good does that one single chair look there? Talk about decorating the space before it's even finished, huh? <laughs> the, the chairs are in the way on the deck. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Figured they might as well just come down so we can cut some wood. 
Oh, what, what a beautiful setting. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Pick five, baby. Yeah. Talking about you, boo. Yeah. Pick five. Okay. I think it's safe to say we are all absolutely exhausted. <laughs> But the next time. I second that. <laughs> Absolutely exhausted. Tim's got his BA. Stiff and sore back. Eamon's sleeping. <laughs> That's nice. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to paradise after a very gloomy few weeks we've got the sun and I wanted to share something with you that's really really special to Eamon and I um, my girlfriends after Lee's passing bought us a beautiful Japanese ivory lilac tree I believe and we were able to plant the tree right at the front of the cabin so Lee is greeting everybody as they come in some of her ashes are actually sprinkled at the roots and it's growing beautifully and looking really really special so Everybody, meet our Lee tree. Our first thought was actually to plant the tree somewhere out in the woods where you could go and meditate and be quiet. And then we realized that Lee would definitely want to be right at the front, greeting everybody and the life of the party. So thanks again to my girlfriends for the beautiful gift. And uh, I think it's time to suit up. Bro is, oh yeah, I don't think I explained what happened to my brother yesterday. He just fell off. So Adam was working a little too hard. Heavy lifting probably and uh, snapped his back. Or are you just getting old? I think a little bit of A, a little I'll bit of B. Uh, Eamon threw a cut off t-shirt on today. Oh. And then we decided it's probably best he gets a couple of bicep curls in before he gets on the vlog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice one. Uh, I got the muscle shirt on today, guys. Uh, gotta make it count. Uh. All right, so that's what the morning's looking like here. We are back on track and deciding on stairs from this platform to the next. So you're thinking we should do the platform and the stairs? Platform and the stairs, yep. Start with that? Yeah. You think we can do it in one day? I think we can be optimistically happy with getting it done in one day. <laughs> <laughs> but Tim did say he's not staying, staying until seven again, so. Uh, uh, we'll see, we'll see, Tim, we'll see. <laughs> Remember the epoxy fiasco yesterday? Well, turns out the tubes were expired. It looks good, Tim, but I don't know. Oh, yes, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that, that creaminess, Tim. <laughs> I'm gonna kill our Tim. hands to get it out today. Ooh. And that just stops the po the saddle from moving around. It's a glue, so it shuts the saddle and it locks it up. Don't forget, Tim. Yeah. Rotating it slowly during insertion. Yeah. After <laughs> insertion, the hole should be completely full. Yeah. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. 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 Tim doesn't have a lot of experience with insertion, so. Oh, jeez. There he is. Huh. Look 
maybe thirty bucks if you eat it. It, it look, looks like a looks like a giant ladybug. It's got a, a ladybug bucks. shape, and if I eat it, fifty 40? bucks, hundred bucks. Oh my god! What if that was poisonous, dude? Hundred bucks. Oh my god. Hundred bucks. God, hundred bucks, even. <laughs> I did not think you were gonna do that. Oh my god, Beck's gonna be so pissed. Hey, bud. Yeah. Remember that lead bug? Well, I was kind of joking, saying like, I'll give you 50 bucks if you eat it, and Tim ate it. No. <laughs> yeah. He did? Well, it was 100 bucks, like I had to go up to 100. It's worth it though, right? Not really. I don't know. Time for the stairs. All right, well, the stringers are a little tricky because we kind of just built two platforms and then we're tying them together. So what we've done here is estimated a cut, which turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then we got the, his stringer set down to that platform. And we're just using a straight edge to mount there and then draw a line on this stringer. And that'll give us the exact angle we need here. He's gonna trace out the bottom there. And then uh, once we get two of these puppies, we duplicate them. We've got two stair, two stair stringers. Does that make sense, babe? Kind of. <laughs> Yeah, we got a little excited. This is a template for a 10 inch step with seven inch drop, which is standard, no? This, this is a standard um, scale, yeah. So, but because yeah. our <laughs> angle is different, we actually need to maybe make a six inch drop, which makes sense, but we don't know if it's six or five and a half or... Yikes. Why don't you take your gloves off? You can, you can actually. Why don't you take you, your pants off? You can actually <laughs> ha handle that thing better. Yeah. Hey, you, you know I probably would take my pants off. Yeah. <laughs> well, after your 20 bucks, you'd probably be streaming down the hill naked. <laughs> no, I won't do that for less than 100. <laughs> now that you know I'm willing to pay, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the boy here, Tim, is pretty confident that six is wrong, the six inch drop is wrong but five and a half is gonna work. So he's betting his entire salary from this project on five and a half working. And uh, he's also recommending we don't even trace it out. He's saying, let's just eyeball it, get the first step in, drop five and a half, he's next step. He's placing a lot of blame on you. Normally when you work as a team, you, you take the wins and the losses as a team, but not with you, eh, Tim? Yeah, yeah. He's really rough on me today. Don't <laughs> <laughs> watch for the bromance. Uh, so much. Well, let's hear it, bromance. Tim. Let's hear the confidence, right? Five and a half is going to work. Five and a half is going to work, yeah. All right, confident. I just want to get like a shot, like on record. Yeah. And I, so I, I give up a day's pay if, if I'm wrong, but and you pay me an extra for the, the bet was an extra 500 if I'm right. Oh, snap. <laughs> be the most handy but I'm a great runner. I think I've gone up and down these stairs a hundred times. Dumb and Dumber are working on the steps and I'm running them Dumb down to them. <laughs> Have I mentioned how cute you look today? Have I mentioned how cute <laughs> you look today? I look funny today. <laughs> I told you you look cute today already. That's true. Maybe twice. Maybe. And I'll tell you again. You do look cute today. Thank you buddy. Wow, Tim, you're gonna earn your extra 500, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> our finished, our final product. Woo, baby. <laughs> I'm reaching under there too far. Yeah. That's Looks awesome. great. It's very gentle. Yeah. It's like get... Tim's butt. Nice, like... You know you're Canadian when it's 20 degrees outside and you need to get in the lake. It's probably gonna be freezing. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta just relax. 
I can't, I can't. I was just having a moment of gratitude sitting here thinking about how special it is that every single Sunday, Eamon and I get to share our lives with you in this video format. We actually started our YouTube channel back in 2013, so it's taken us a long time to get here, but it's worth every step of the way. And I feel like this is a really nice segue into today's sponsor, so I just wanna say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. You've seen Eamon and I take courses in everything from learning to play the ukulele, how to be a better plant parent, and of course, photography and videography. There's a new course out by Marquez Brownlee, who's one of the YouTube original creators, and it's all about how to shoot, script, and edit for YouTube success. I think it would be an amazing course if you're interested in getting into this lifestyle, or honestly, are just into videography in general. The first 1,000 of you who click the link in our description box are going to get to try Skillshare Premium Membership for free. So don't miss out on that opportunity. And I think that's it for today's video. We will see you Sunday with another episode. And make sure you take a second to go call someone you love and tell them you love them. Before we head down. <laughs> hey, the party boat. Don't worry, Ann, we're taking care of your boy Tim just fine. <laughs> Aiming in bed fitness coming to you. 2022. Or three. Oh wow. I'm not in focus at all, am I? Well, the camera's still on, eh? Yep. Oh, that's how we get her to work hard. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The camera on her, yeah. <laughs> See you Sunday. <laughs> uh, might not see you Sunday according to this one. <laughs>